If there's been a theme to this show so far, it's been water, but that's not the good kind of water. This is, and Marie Feebach from Feed Your Fam Fam Family Tonight is with us uh, to tell us how to flavor our own water. Marie, good morning. Good morning. Yes, this is one of my favorite things to do, especially in the summer, to get myself and my kids drinking just a little bit more water. And I have lots of different ways to flavor water today, and I'm going to kind of start off with just the most simple thing. The first thing is just slicing any kind of fruit or vegetable that you would like. Right now I'm going to work on some oranges and one thing you want to know with any kind of citrus is you've got to be careful of that bitter pith. Oranges are not too bad but lemons and limes you want to stick to the juice and the zest. And I have over here a giant vat of water and I'm just going to drop these in and let you let those set overnight and the next day this water is fabulous for feeding a crowd if you have a graduation party or a picnic it just adds flavor quickly the second way that you can add flavor to water are these flavor infusing pitchers and they come with these little tubes and they have perforations in them and all you do is slice and add fruit or herbs or vegetables to the tubes and then you can put the tubes in the water and that way you don't have to worry about the pieces of fruit kind of floating around as you as you do it and they're not expensive this one was like seven dollars they're not they're not super expensive you can even get water bottles with these little infusing things in them and then the lid just screws on to the tube and you can put it in your water that is strawberry basil water, which is mm. one of my favorite flavors. Now, those, that's the easy kind where you just infuse it in the water. I also have one here that's cooked. And Allison was saying that you really like ginger water, mm -hmm. that you make it at home. This is my lemon ginger water. And again, remember we talked about how that bitter part of the lemon is the white part underneath the zest. So you just want to take large pieces of the lemon zest from the outside and put that into a quart or two of water. You're just using a potato peeler. Huh? I'm just using a potato peeler, nothing fancy. You don't want to use a zester because the little pieces are hard to strain out. And then I have here a couple of knobs of ginger. This cutting board, if you can see here, is from David Graver at GraverBoards.com. He makes these beautiful couture cutting boards, and he sells them at the Kansas Grown Farmer's Market. Oh, the local guy. Huh? Local guy. And I just love his beautiful wood cutting boards. Nice. And so I've just chopped a little bit of ginger, and you're going to bring that to a boil and let it, once it comes to a boil, turn the heat off and just let it cool to room temperature. And then you're going to add the lemon to it. You don't want to add the lemon at the beginning because it will lose some of its flavor and it'll get kind of muted if you want to keep the lemon really bright. So I have one here that has already been cooked and cooled and I just squeeze in the lemon juice. And you don't even have to worry if the seeds get in because the next step is to strain it. Now, whenever you did the ginger, at first, does it matter about peeling it? I know ginger is kind of tough to peel. Can you just chop it? You absolutely can just chop it. And I, this is a little trick about ginger. I buy a large piece of ginger and I scrub it and cut it into chunks and keep it in my freezer. Oh. And then you can just pull out a knob at a time anytime you need it. So this is how I just strain that water through a little strainer. And then you have your lemon ginger water. I like to chill it really well. I feel like most of these flavored waters taste better when they're ice cold. So over here I have a few flavors. I have that strawberry basil, which is this first one. Which is what you're having right now, Allison. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. very refreshing. Watermelon mint. This is mint mojito, which is lime juice and mint leaf. And then I have just plain cucumber. You wouldn't believe how good the cucumbers taste. And that's here. Okay, They're I'm going to try the back. that. You're going to try that one? I like spa. cucumber water. Yeah, it is like a day at the spa. <laughs> and again, I keep these in the refrigerator for my kids to drink on all summer long. The in flavor infusing pinch are super nice because you don't have to worry about the chunks of fruit or veggies getting into oh. anything. And it just brightens up your day having yeah. a little bit of flavored water. Because obviously it's so important to have water, but sometimes it can feel a little bit humdrum to, yeah. to continue drinking all day. So sure. that's a creative way to 
keep us going. Thank you very much, well, Marie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell us what's uh, happening at Feed Your Family tonight. Feed Your Family tonight, lots of fun things happening. All of these recipes are always up on my website at feedyourfamilytonight.com. We always have discussions happening in the Facebook group. Go to facebook.com slash feedyourfamilytonight. I'm always there answering questions and um, putting up my meal plans. If you have questions about meal planning, I am always there to help and sometimes just give some inspiration. You can check my meal plan yeah. out every week. Yeah. That's good stuff, Marie. Thank you so much. We'll see you next Tuesday with your next recipe. We'll be right back after this.